Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about test boosters uh, and the fact that if you are even using one, you're not really natty in the sense that your goal is not to be natty. And that's something I should probably make more videos on explaining how silly the word natty is uh, and explaining that it's purely a marketing term. You know, because essentially natty means you don't use performance enhancing drugs but if you take supplements that replicate or promise to replicate the exact same effects of performance enhancing drugs, you're still considered natural. Sure, because the companies that make these terms up, uh, the whole fitness industry made this term up uh, for, you know, this as a marketing term, right? They, they made it as a marketing term to sell you products. That's it. Think about it, just like with everything else natural it's always used as a marketing term with no meaning but that always means good and healthy right so they, they do the same thing all right the problem with uh, test boosters and we'll get into the fact that they usually don't even work or don't work well enough to really be worth any money uh, is that here's the problem here's the problem you are trying to replicate the effects of taking anabolics or taking testosterone That's what you're trying to do. People go, well, I'm only trying to get an advantage, not have massive amounts, 10 times the normal range. Well, yeah, that's the reason most people take lower doses of, of anabolics. They just want a small advantage. Okay, and when they take a drug that boosts their testosterone levels, you know, but oftentimes they're just directly putting testosterone into the body, you call those people enhanced, right? steroid users gear users that's the term use yet somehow people have gotten this idea that they can take a product that will boost their testosterone levels again the same the same thing that makes you not natty that uh, it's just a supplement and that you're still natural but you're trying to achieve the exact same effect you were trying to achieve the exact same effect of taking a low dose of testosterone. There's no difference if it actually worked. So if you're even in that mindset, your mindset isn't natty. You're looking for an advantage. You were trying to take something and put it in your body to gain more muscle strength, lose body fat faster than you could with your normal blood work and hormone profile. That's what you're trying to do. That's no different. All right, here's a big part of the issue though. Test boosters don't work. Uh, when you look at the, the one study, remember diaspartic acid was so popular forever. I don't even know if it's still out there. You look at had one study that reported a boost in testosterone and it was on a bunch of uh, like cyclists in Europe who were overtrained and had really low testosterone levels. Okay, and on average, the group it boosted their testosterone levels, whatever, 20%, 30%. But if anyone did the math on that, they were barely in the healthy range, right? They weren't even optimizing their testosterone after taking it. And by the way, these, this has not been replicated. We found in other studies that it didn't boost test at all in some people. But this is the one that everyone went off of. The problem is that none of these guys had high testosterone levels afterwards. In fact, none of them had, te they didn't have testosterone levels as a result of taking it to where you said, oh wow, that looks impressive. That looks like peak health. They were still slightly below that. They were below that. Well, that didn't do very much, did it? All right, and here's the other thing, even if it did boost at that amount, and again, it hasn't been replicated in multiple studies, even if it did, guess what? It's not enough to gain muscle. Not enough to gain muscle. And you're not optimizing your levels because it didn't even do that. These were just highly overtrained endurance athletes who were suffering from low testosterone due to overtraining, right? And it seemed to have boosted it a bit. That's that's one. 
Uh, remember when Lobliner came out with his Absurgent Tiger Fitness? And he's like, oh, we got this one guy, this guy half taking it. Do you guys know that the guy had clinically low testosterone? If you look at the blood work, because he gave the numbers as he went from this to this. Is one case study, right? This is what they sold a product based upon. Afterwards, after taking the product, his testosterone, just whatever, natural bodybuilder or whatever, after taking the testosterone, what happened? He still had almost clinically low testosterone. In other words, the guy's testosterone levels were something like if they went 10% lower, he would qualify for TRT medically. He'd go to an endocrinologist and just get a testosterone shot. This is what it boosted them to. Their case study for selling this product, which he sold a ton of, was a guy who still had kind of low testosterone after taking it. You know what? It may not even be a product doing that. That could be normal fluctuations. That could literally be that guy's normal fluctuation. They just took the blood work at a different time of day. That could actually account for it, just his normal day-to-day -day fluctuations. And they were still low. All right? And this is the case over and over and over. So the point here is that if you are buying these products, you're not natural, even if they don't work, because you're attempting to take something that produces a drug-like effect in your body, hoping to gain muscle strength and other benefits. All right? And then people say, well, I just want that higher testosterone. Well, even if it gave you a small amount, you know, if you just lived a healthier lifestyle, it would do more. Why don't you quit dieting down ultra lean, quit overtraining, eat a balanced, healthy diet, doesn't have any deficiencies in it, get lots of sleep. Okay. Don't abuse your body. If you do those things, your testosterone is going to be optimized anyways, unless you have a medical issue in which you need to go see a doctor. And that's ultimately the point. If you were worried about your testosterone levels, these silly products that you're hoping might maybe do this, you're going to spend a fortune on, at that point, it's cheaper to just go to a doctor or a testosterone clinic and get a sure thing. And get a sure thing. Right? And then by that same token, people say, well, I don't want to do that. I want something that boosts my levels. But boost my production. Well, there's drugs that do that. Those are all banned drugs in sports, by the way. There's prescription drugs that do that. And they're routinely used in fertility and test clinics and stuff. And they're also used for PCT by uh, lifters after they, they come off anabolics. Okay. There's already drugs that do that. And they're not that expensive. All right. This is a ripoff. And anyone who's selling it to you is a con artist.